Welcome back, my wonderful students. Now, um, at this point, I want to stop and say for a second, we are 12 minutes into this project, and you have already changed the look and feel of your site with the template. You've already created a form. You've already created tables in the database. You've already created a new page. You've created a new access level, and you've secured this page so that it can't be viewed by people on the outside. And so, like, this is no joke. 12 minutes worth of PHP and stuff like that, and you've done this. Now, we're going to go back, and eventually we're going to take that form, and we're going to code it ourselves, and we're not going to use the form viewer, and we're going to do it the old-fashioned way so that we can do special things with it that the form builder won't do, and, and plus you just need to learn how to do it. But for now, just sit back and be amazed that you've made a form that simple. Now, the question is, we're going to, what do we do next? So we're going to log in, and we're going to log in with admin and password. And you'll see that you're taken to this um, page right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the user spice. Actually, we don't need to go to documentation for this. So if you go to the forms, and you go to tools and forms, form builder, you'll see that we have this short code. And so what that means is that we can copy that and I can come over here to the code and very simply I can open up a set of PHP tags, close a set of PHP tags and hit display form students. So while we're in here we are going to um, we're going to do a little bit of other housekeeping and I know you want to see that form on the real page but we're just going to make it um, a little bit handier for us. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into navigation. And this is one of my least favorite parts of user spice. I think we can do better. Um, but we are going to make a new drop down. And so if you see, we can sort this by ID. And now this new drop down is at the top. Um, so I click that till 23 is at the top. And then I'm going to put, um, we're going to just say, let's see, um, who can see this menu? So this is a new parent, uh, no parent. It's a drop down menu and we're gonna allow administrators and managers to see this menu item. They must be logged in and I don't know, we'll just, we'll move it somewhere to the middle of the menu by putting 10. And then we're gonna put um, manage RFID like that. Um, you can call it whatever you want there, that doesn't really matter. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, Let's see, we're gonna just keep that right there. We're gonna keep that little um, pound symbol right there and update. And then if I were to open up a new tab, you would see that now we have a menu here called manage RFID. Now you can't do anything with it, but it's there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one more menu item by hitting new item. And you'll see it pops up at the top now. And we're gonna put, it's not a drop down. we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, admin and manager can do it you must be logged in we're going to say we want this to be at the top of the menu so we'll put a zero and then we're going to put new student and then we're going to put new student dot i think it's an underscore there dot php let's double check that yep new student dot php and we're going to update it and now if we come here and we refresh, we have the menu, and let's see, why is that not dropping down? Oh, oh, I know why. So we're gonna come back to the menu editor, and we're gonna edit this one. And we are going to say that the parent of this one is manage RFID. And now if we update, and we refresh the page, new student is under here, and we can visit our new student page, and you will see that we have our shiny new form on the page. Um, so again, a couple minutes, four minutes, and we made a new menu item. Um, no big deal. You know, we're just PHP developers just cranking out PHP. So one other thing is we're not really using the messaging system. So I'm going to come in here to general and disable the messaging system because there's an icon up there that we don't really need to see. And so I'm going to come in here to settings and general and disable the message system. And now we come back here, our menu is a little cleaner. We have manage RFID and we have um, you know, a little menu there so we can go to new student. Now, if I were to come in here and do Dan Hoover and put in one, two, three, four, um, 
the form submitted, but it didn't actually do anything. And so I want to show you one of the things is to read the manual. So we're going to go to user spice. And we're going to come up here to the documentation. And we're going to go to the form manager. And so what it basically tells us is how to create a form. And then once we create the form, we know how to display it. We've done the smart code thing. But now what we want to do is we want to process the form. And so we only have one form on the page. And so this becomes really easy. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you come back to the code, you have this place here where we kind of recommend is a good place to put a lot of PHP that just needs to go at the top of the page. You can actually just paste that in there. So what you're saying is this form is being posted. And so you say if you're posting the form, remember those if statements, then process the form. And so this is a built-in function to user spice. So again, we're not getting too much into the nitty gritty. We're not walking through how we're doing this. I'm just telling you that there's an if statement and it's looking to see, is there anything being posted to the page? If there is, then process the form. And so we're gonna save this and just for the heck of it, I'm gonna add one more break here because I want that form to drop down a little bit. In fact, let's do this while we're here. Let's do, uh, let's do H2 and then we'll put new students there. Okay, so we have new student and now we're displaying the form and we're processing the form. So let's go to Dan Hoover and then I have a pile of these RFID badges. Now one of my favorite things about both the barcode scanners and the RFID badges is that they automatically hit the enter key which means that after I scan this badge it's going to hit the enter key for me. So I tap it up there. <laughs> I just said that and it didn't, uh, which is fine. So we're going to see what happens.